What's up everybody? Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Wahoo Element Roam and I'm going to let you know what's inside. Alright, so I've been really excited to get this. Uh, not as excited as what's coming next week. You guys will see that in the next unboxing video. However, I've been away from cycling for quite some time. I put on some pounds. I'm a, I'm a fatty right now. Uh, you'll see another video upcoming about my weight loss through the cycling process and how amazing cycling is. So here's the Element Roam. I came from Garmin. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I will say the Element Roam box is very, very nicely laid out. Uh, we can see it gives an outline of all the information here. Very, very nice box. And then, what the heck, I pull this out. Well, this is kind of cool. So once you have the box open, we're gonna take this bad boy out. And this thing, I will say, is big. This is very, very big. Um, I like it though. I'm gonna do a review video sometime next week. After, I wanna use it for a couple of rides before I really dive in depth. You can see the back here, nice unit. All right, so we're going to open this up and see what's inside. So first thing we have are zip ties. Not sure what those are for, but we'll figure it out. Aha, the mount. Now, I'm not a big fan of these mounts. I know everybody is using these now. Call me an old school kind of guy, but I like it directly above the, the handlebars. But it's nice. I'm willing to give it a try. We also have a locking screw well I don't know what that's for oh okay the locking screw goes in this little hole but right here and it locks the unit in so you can't even take it off it's kind of cool I like it I like to take mine off though especially when you're on long rides and you stop at a coffee shop or you're you know you're on a group ride you can never trust anybody especially here in New York City uh, what else do we have oh Common look. This is the mount that goes directly on the bars. You know, when I was searching these, I couldn't find out if this came with this anywhere. Um, I've watched other YouTube videos, countless ones. I've read tons of articles. I could not find if this came with it, but it does. And this, I'm assuming, is what the zip ties are for. So it mounts directly onto the handlebars without the extender out front. I'm a very happy guy right now. This just went up a point. Uh, what else do we have? We have a standard, assuming it's micro USB, micro USB cable, very short, looks, let's find out, looks maybe about 12 inches long, maybe 10, yeah, I would say that's about a foot. For 99% of the world that uses the metric system, one-third of a meter, I guess. That's an assumption. Um, we have instructions. What is this? Important product information. So, FCC, blah, 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 blah. Don't kill yourself. Hopefully, I won't kill myself with this unit. And then we have the instruction manual, which is, it looks pretty basic. It really does. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really it for the instruction manual. I did hear that these units were much easier to set up than Garmin's. I, I love Garmin hardware, but their software is just so kind of awful. I, I made another video comparing um, the Garmin Edge or reviewing the Garmin Edge 130. Great computer but the software just didn't do it for me. So I got this. I'm going to play around with this now and ignore my fiance for quite some time. I'm sure I'll get in trouble. And I will be doing a review video of the Element Roam sometime with next week. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like this video, subscribe or give me one of these. This way I know people are actually watching. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.